the same time, the East African Breweries Limited recorded a profit decline of, get this, 39% to 7 billion shillings from 11.5 billion shillings the previous year. Now, these and more stories make our corporate briefs. Take a listen. EABL recorded a 9% decline in net sales for the financial year ended 30th June 2020 with the first half growth of 10% being offset by a 29% decline in the second half. The second half decline was due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic which saw the containment measures implemented across East Africa from late March 2020. The brewer had earlier in the month issued a profit warning on the decline. The company is expected to take a further hit as Kenya banned sale and consumption of alcohol in East eateries and restaurants as a measure to curb the spread of coronavirus. Bars still remain closed since March 25th, 2020, when the restrictions were imposed. Elsewhere, Gusi region tea farmers now want Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya to reconstitute the Tea Regulations Implementation Committee he recently constituted, which they said was not representative of small-scale farmers. Lastly, Isuzu East Africa has announced a vehicle leasing deal with Cooperative Bank of Kenya, which will give two PSV SACOs access to 133-seater Isuzu buses. In the asset financing deal, members of Metro Trans and Super Metro SACOs will have access to Isuzu's NQR 33-seater buses, which sell at 5.3 million shillings each without need for any deposit. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.